I'm Tiny Girl. Click the subscribe button down below if you want to help me out. Today we are making fingerprint art. The fish ones. Me and Mommy were making the colorful fishes with my thumbs. All right. We're we're back for a, a yet another um, thumb thumbprint art um, with Tiny Girl over here. Uh, so what we're looking at today is we're going to do a fish picture. Okay. So we're really only going to need the thumb. Yep. And we're going to do five thumbprints kind of like this. And then we're going to turn those fish or turn those thumbprints into fish. Okay. So we picked up out our colors. Once again, guys, I use acid free ink. The reason why is just for um, uh, longevity or archivability. Uh, we also like to use acrylics. Um, so it's easy to clean up, especially when you're doing fingerprints. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, we'll have a link down below if you want to purchase these so you can use the same ones that we're using. I like these because they're just sort of free floating. I can use them, put the lid on, we're done. Okay, so are you ready? All right, let's get that. Like... Let's get that thumbprint. Mm. All right, now these you want to be really big thumbprints. Like a big thumbprint. Boop. <laughs> and once again, Think of them as this is going to be the body of your fish. So you want these to kind of go across, but they don't necessarily have to be perfectly in a straight line. But you do need to push straight down and bring it straight up. Ooh. I'll wash that thumb off. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. And once again, we're just cleaning it with a... Like a paper towel. A wet, wet paper, paper towel. towel and, a, and, a, and a dry paper tower. towel. Towel. Tower? We Not tower. <laughs> Alrighty. Our next one is yellow. Yellow, like a very light yellow. And remember, yellow. straight down. It's like almost like the fish are going to look go at each other. And straight up. The fish are going to look like they're almost facing each other like buddies. But not. Uh, Alright, so who do we got next? But three are gonna not. Now face this together. one we can face. Let's do it the other way, okay? <sighs> so now we're gonna have a bright, beautiful pink fish. I'm gonna let these four go together because they are best okay. friends. Got it? Yeah. Let's go. Shh. Hold three, on, hold two, on, hold on. One, zero. Oh. Boom fish it almost looks like fat fish but it's not it it's, is okay it's nice. are we dry no are we dry can we do that one right here no we're gonna put him next to pink what what blue loves pink really we're putting yeah. him next to that yeah please orange bees okay <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's where orange is going. Blue does not care about orange. Blue really wants to be pink. Please <laughs> make sure, make sure thumbs are dry. That way, you don't dilute your ink and lose the fingerprint. Okay. And then this is our very last fish. Three, two, one. Oh, there we go. Ooh, I'm going to go ahead and throw this paper towel almost away. Right, there we go. There we go. All right, so now we're going to wait for these to dry just a little bit. But one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm using um, just an acrylic craft paint. Any off the side counter kind of paint is going to work. Um, and then I'm going to use, believe it or not, a uh, nail, uh, nail to art tool. So this is just round um, and it just helps when you're daubing and you're making it uh, 
just need a circle dot. So what we're actually going to be doing here is giving these little fish eyes. And I'm using the acrylic paint because what we're doing is we're going to create a white eye um, over the thumbprint. So you definitely got to come back. Uh, you know, I'm assuming you could probably use white out if you had that. Um, if you had like little round stickers, you might want to use those. That's totally up to you. this fish facing the orange fish and if we need to go back and make the eyes larger we can do that so no worries um, or if you're doing this and following me and all of a sudden you realize wait a minute now I get it you can go back and make them larger, small, or larger. All right, so these are going to drop. And when we come back, we are going to uh, start working on the rest of our fish. All right, so once your fish have fully dried, um, and the white has, what we're going to do is we're going to come back through and we're going to make really just kind of cute little fish right up and over um, the fingerprints. So you, you kind of got the, the circle part and then what we're going to do is wherever they have the head just draw a line kind of like a semicircle. Um, and so this is going to be the front of your fish and then you're going to see that you're going to have back here the back of your fish which we can make like little fishy tails which we will fill in later um, and then of course give your give your fish some personality so give give them maybe some railing or um, fins on the top um, you can do circles or dots whatever you feel like you want on your fish. The neat part is you just get to play with it. And then of course all of our fish are going to be really friendly, happy fish. And then now we're going to get to add in those eyes. So that would be why we made those white. And then of course probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and do bubbles that coordinate with the colors of your fish and we can draw in some color back here uh, with our art with our artist brush so now we've got another fish and make them all different so you know if you want to make one of them heads bigger heads smaller kind of just whatever works for you and we're going to have a big happy fish here You, know, you can create little eyelashes and all that kind of stuff. Um, now this guy, I think I'm going to do some tiger stripes with him. And then we're going to give him a little side fin. And you can fill these in, once again, different colors, whatever suits you. And then because we want each one of them different, I would just create different styles of fins at the top. And this one, let's give him a lower fin too. And we'll fill those in with colors here in a minute, okay? Once again, we're going to do some bubbles up. And if you feel like you want to, you can even outline your white, which gives you a little bit more definition. Um... Like I said, it really just depends on you and what you want to do. Okay. All right. So now we're going to go to our next fish. 
once again kind of come through With her, we're going to give her kind of these really pretty we do the same thing up here, really pretty curvy kind of fins. And here again we can do different things so if you got circles maybe we could do some stripes with her and if you want to you can even and we'll use markers to do this we might even do just a little bit of extra color on her stripes maybe a purple or something that'd be really cute pretty little friend and it's okay if your lines don't match up perfectly you know you don't necessarily need something to be perfect um, the goal is more or less just to have a lot of fun with them um, this one I think we're just gonna do kind of some fun fins like this we'll do some fun fins like this and here too we can do, um, I don't know, let's just do some polka dots. Polka dots are always fun. And then one last fish. Kind of a little low smile down here. He'll have one of these kind of fins. Alright. And I think with him. We're just going to do kind of some, just some little lines in there. Okay, so now we've got our fishes, but now let's make it a little bit more fun. We're going to try to match up colors, um, and I'm, I'm using Arte Arteza pins. They are the beautiful, real brush pin sets, um, which I really kind of like. And really what I'm going to do here got kind of a scrap sheet. I want to find a color very similar to the ink that we used. That one's pretty close. So I think we'll tell you what we'll do because it's not a perfect match what we're going to do is we'll use this on her little fins we'll 
Sorry, just spinning that to get kind of a, a tip back on it. And don't want to fill that in perfectly. We want kind of that color. But then what we're going to do is we want to create little bubbles. And tell you what, I think I'm going to draw these in first and then we'll color them. just create kind of some fill for the top part of this just to make it a little more active <coughs> excuse me or busy and then I'm probably gonna take the bottom and we're gonna do some seaweed okay so now let's make this now I'm gonna turn this over that way I'm not going up and over these little guys And kind of color a little bit what I'm doing is just trying to do it where I've got a darker edge almost like a real bubble and a little bit lighter in the middle so that was our purple fish now we got yellow yellow is always fun and here again same thing fill a little bit in and what's neat about some of these is we can actually, um, we're going to tiger stripe him a little bit. So I'm going to put a little bit of a darker yellow and we'll get him. And then for this one on the bigger bubbles, I'm just not going to color in anything because the yellow is so light. And then we're going to do... Just a little bit of coloring in on him to give him a little bit of this two-tone. And I don't want to put too much or take it or make it too dark because I don't want to lose tiny girl's fingerprints in here. I can put a little bit, a little bit of color right around there. Now pink. Whew. We're going to use, yeah, almost this purplish pink, if you will, on these stripes. <laughs> kind of looks like the Cheshire Cat. Um, And then do a little bit of two-tone. And it's okay if you spill out of the lines just a little bit. Just don't go too crazy. Because it kind of gives it the impression of more of like a watercolor. Tiny girl will love this because her favorite color is pink. So if most of my bubbles are pink, she's gonna she's gonna love it. A little bit of a draw line, a little bit of a blending space there between the two. Our bubbles. So 
super cute, love it. Okay, orange. Oh yeah, that'll be fun. And I like the fact that this is two completely different color oranges. And here again, you see where I'm just doing these circles and then doing a little bit more on the outside just to give it just a sense of a little bit darker and of course our last one is blue and i wonder mm. And the neat part about this one <clears throat> is we can go down here a little bit. Just kind of working a little bit of that color upwards. Because up at the top here we got white. So that's all we're doing is we're just going to do this a little bit. Bottom to kind of match the ridges on the top. Oops, let's not forget our bubbles, huh? It's the same thing. We're gonna Now we've got our beautiful friendly fish, which is kind of hard to believe that we actually have fingerprints, but you can see these beautiful ridges of tiny girl's fingers right there. Um, and now what I'm going to do is we're going to add in some seaweed. So what I'm going to do is kind of Yeah, that'll work. I think we can do that quite easily. All right. So we're going to... And I would not say you need a lot. Because you don't want to make it overly busy. And what's neat about this is we're going to go back through with one of these beautiful art pens and probably do two or three different tones of green in these leaves, which will give it a really neat effect. Um, and this will give us a feeling of emotion as well because... Like I said, don't, don't go over the top and do a ton of grass because then it's just going to be overwhelming. We're just trying to fill this open space or void space with something. And it's okay if your leaves aren't perfect. Leaves aren't. So, alright, so we want to get... Let's take a look at these. 
that's pretty and bright. It's a little bit closer. I wonder if we can get like a jade color. That might be too jade. Hold on. That is going to work. Okay, so I would come over with probably your darker color first. And once again, don't need to necessarily be perfectly inside the lines. It'll just give it the feeling that you've got a, um, that they're watercolors. And there's no harm in that. just I don't want to say willy-nilly but just kind of go in there and get your colors where you want them and the cool thing is is if we feel like it needs something less or more we can always add it in later Once again, if you want to know like the markers I'm using and stuff, we'll be sure to add that into the bottom. That way you can look those up if you want to use them. These sets are really nice. Um, this particular set I think is their 48 count. Um, and I do believe that they're very flexible with some of that. Like sometimes this one's really close to the other one. Um, You might be able to get more or less. There you go. That's a little bit more different. Yeah, I like that. Sorry, the other two greens were a little bit too close in color. When you're drawing leaves that are this small. And then I just realized we have a pink from where Tiny Girl did her pink fingerprint. So we're going to draw one more right in here and we're going to make sure to go right over that. That way no one will ever see it and know it was there. And once again, same thing with your leaves. Don't worry about being perfect. It's more about effect. Because people are not going to focus on, oh, is this leaf perfect or that leaf perfect? They're going to be looking at the picture itself. Okay, so. Get our brighter green back out. And I normally start with lighter colors because it's easier to darken a lighter color so if you go too many or not enough um or go too many it's okay you know so if you don't do it enough and then you put it in a darker color you're kind of stuck um and this is a little bit more of a marine brown so we're gonna put in or an olive drab i said brown olive drab green so we're gonna put a little bit less of it because we've got all these bright colors and drab is just that it tends to be a little bit darker um, and now we're going to go in with that really pretty, more jade color or evergreen kind of color. Now this one you got to be a little bit careful with because it is darker. Probably want to be a little bit more precise in coloring in your leaves.
And if you're wondering if we were going to color over the stems, the answer is no. And I'm sure you can tell that because of the way we did the leaves, there's not a need. There's enough green in there that you're not, most people are not even going to notice that the stem is black and not a green color of some sort. So there you go. There is our finished um, thumbprint fish picture. Um, and it's, I think this is adorable. So once again, this is great if you're trying to put something maybe in the bathroom or a kid's bathroom or even a hang out on the wall if you got colorful. Um, kind of put it in a frame and like I said and always as a reminder to folks make sure on the back of it put your kids name how old they were and the year that you did it that way when you pull these down um, you'll always have it as a great um, keepsake so click the links down below if you need the supplies I hope you have fun with me and mommy making fingerprints